Good afternoon, I'm Brad Edwards. And I'm Erica Sargent. Federal agents in action combing through the ward office of longtime alderman Carrie Austin, who until weeks ago was the head of the powerful budget committee. Austin represents the 34th ward that's on the far south side and includes parts of Morgan Park, Roseland, Washington Heights, and West Pullman. We have team coverage, including why Austin was before cameras smiling earlier today. But we begin with CBS 2's Megan Hickey, who was outside the Roseland office during that FBI raid. Megan. Right, Brad and Erica, around 2 o'clock this afternoon, a team of federal agents exited the building with several boxes worth of evidence. Neighbors here tell me they'd been in there for hours. Constituents of Chicago's 34th Ward came to Carrie Austin's Roseland office with concerns today, but left with more questions. Well, I actually came to knock on the door um, and it was locked and I'm like, why is the alderman's office locked? Donetta Jenkins walked around to the back of the building where she encountered a group of people who turned out to be federal agents. Well, I saw them and I'm just joking around with them and I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing here? And they're like, you gave me some baloney story. What they say? He said they were fixing pipes or something. They were going to fix the pipe or something like that. And I was like, "Come on, you're pulling my leg." And uh wow. He just repeated it and I got the clue, like zip it, Donetta. Our cameras were rolling as the agents removed several boxes from the building and placed them in unmarked police vehicles. The FBI confirmed to CBS2 that the raid was court authorized, but could not give us any details beyond that. The boxes appeared to contain papers and electronic equipment. Meanwhile, a steady flow of constituents continued to show up throughout the day. It's really surprising to find that the FBI has raided your alderman's office. Most unaware that anything was happening here. I'm wondering, uh, what were you doing that the FBI was involved? Now again, we know that raid was court ordered, but we still don't know why those agents were here. We'll continue tracking down answers. Live in Roseland, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News. Political reporter Derek Blakely is live at City Hall. And Derek, you were with Alderman Austin at an event just hours ago. I was indeed, Erica, and of course, no one knew what was going on at that time at her ward office. We're at City Hall awaiting the appearance of Mayor Lori Lightfoot, a former federal prosecutor, who is sure to have plenty to say about the latest Chicago alderman to come under federal scrutiny, 34th Ward Alderman Carrie Austin. Austin, of course, succeeded her husband, Lemuel Austin, in the City Council following his death back in 1994, and she's been there ever since, some 25 years. This morning at Juliet High, Alderman Carrie Austin was attending Mayor Lori Lightfoot's news conference on summer youth programs. Today is a day truly that God has made because he's made us the star of the show. Austin meant Julian High as the star backdrop for the mayor's announcement. But at that very moment, Austin herself was the unknowing star of another show. Federal agents were executing a search warrant at Austin's 34th Ward headquarters. It's just the latest step in a wide-ranging federal investigation into city council corruption. Back in November, agents raided the city hall office and ward office of 14th Ward Alderman Ed Burke, who then headed the powerful finance committee. Burke was later indicted in multiple shakedown schemes, all aimed at pressuring businesses seeking city permits into using his law firm for property tax appeals. And later, it was revealed former 25th Ward Alderman Danny Solis, who chaired the zoning committee, wore a wire to record Burke's conversations after he was confronted with corruption allegations from federal investigators. Until Mayor Lightfoot deposed her, Alderman Austin was chair of the budget committee which means the recent heads of the three most powerful council committees, Burke at Finance, Solis at Zoning, and Austin at Budget, are all now under the microscope of federal prosecutors. Mayor Lightfoot is speaking now to the uh, developments today regarding uh, Alderman Austin. And we should emphasize that Alderman Austin has not been charged at all. She has not been charged with any wrongdoing as yet, and uh, we do not know if she is the target of the investigation that's now ongoing. What's more, federal raids do not always lead to charges, and we can also tell you we reached out to Alderman Austin's office. Uh, she had no comment. At 6, we'll bring you more on Mayor Lightfoot's reaction to today's developments. We're live at City Hall. Derek Blakely, CBS2 News.